Shiny Charizard is already at what I predicted would be the bottom. Cosmic Eclipse singles are ridiculously low and one sealed product I think is worth picking up. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemart video. Uh, we're going to be going over the latest trends of Hidden Fates, Cosmic Eclipse, and just comment on a couple of our observations on the secondary market. Uh, to start, we're actually going to go for some news. It's been a while since we covered anything, but uh, I feel like there just hasn't been a lot announced. But there has been a new post on PokeBeach.com from Water Pokemon Master, and <laughs> finally some news. Yeah, exactly. My my thoughts exactly so we have a new v card so it seems like this is just a straight up replacement of the gx mechanic uh first i thought maybe v was like a special evolution almost like mega but it seems not to be the case so we have mega or meow the v and uh 180, 180 hp so it is just basically if it gets knocked out they take two prizes this card seems pretty bad but we do have payday for 30 damage draw a card uh, oh, actually, sorry. So this will be kind of like if you participate in the tournament, you get this. And then a claw attack for 130 for 3 energy. All around seems pretty bad. And then we have a quick ball. This is an interesting card. Discard one card from your hand um, in order to play this. And then search your deck for a basic and add it to your hand. Uh, pretty straightforward. I kind of like it. There's a lot of mechanics out there that require you to discard. You actually want a lot of cards in discard pile. Evolution Incense. This one sounds amazing as well. Search your deck for Evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck. It's, it's like, um, you know, that's how you can get non-GX evolutions, like, straight up. It's almost like Cherish Ball good. And then Bead, we have a trainer. Touch your basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. That is terrible. And, uh, yeah, we have a new energy. So, um, not too crazy news, which is why I figured it would cover in this video. Uh, so let's go on to Hidden Fates. It's been a while since we've taken a look and things are continuing to creep down. Uh, on TCG player, Lois is at 255 and Cynthia is still hovering around that $60 mark. That one's actually very interesting and we'll get into that a little bit. And then everything else is probably where it'll be for a while, Tapu Lele around 28 and then the Evolutions Mewtwo following up. Um, there's only a handful of cards that are above $20, so... Um, yeah, I kind of, exp I doubt any of this will go up anytime soon, but I doubt there'll be much movement in either direction at this point. Let's take a look at eBay. Uh, so, Shiny Charizard, there, so, we've already hit what I thought was the bottom. Here we have a raw card, best offer accepted, where it was listed at $200, and I thought it was going to bottom out at $200, and it seems like we're already there, and maybe it'll continue to go down. This is really crazy from the, um, you know, that, that $10,000 card <laughs> seems like it wasn't too long. It was a while ago, but not too long ago for this much um, decline in a card so rapidly. It's very surprising. But then, although there is still a good amount sold for like $300, uh, it could be that this $200 one just, you know, oh, it's clearly not a 10 or something like that. But either way, for a raw card, that's still amazing. Um, I think we'll continue basically solidify that $200. Maybe it could go down, but my guess is that it'll, this is where it'll hover for the long term. Cynthia, uh, yeah, so you can definitely get it cheaper on eBay. Uh, seems like 40s is the lower end. Uh, so you can get it, especially if you do it like on auction and stuff like that. One interesting thing about this is uh, comparing it to the Ultra Prism printing where the art is better. You do have Garchomp as well as Lucario, but the, uh, yeah, the Ultra Prism printing, which is a while ago, and good luck finding Ultra Prism packs to actually pull this these days uh, compared to Hidden Fates, which in my opinion, you'll be able to find for the next two years. And this one's actually cheaper. Uh, you know, you could probably pick it up for 30, sometimes less than $30. So I find that very interesting. Uh, it, much, it must just be the art, which is kind of helping the Hidden Fates Cynthia price. And uh, all right, so we're gonna move on to Cosmic Eclipse. And it's very interesting because the prices are super low for the singles. Um, I think that, you know, almost the point is like, oh man, why, why should I even bother cracking packs at this point? I can just pick up everything I want at singles. The prices are so low. And I wonder if it has to do with the meta right now where, yeah, a lot of people are still trying to figure out what, what works, but I do feel like some non-Cosmic Eclipse stuff is just 
too strong right now and that is these or we'll go over the two cards and the first one is Malamar and not only that are they just so strong but they are really cheap so Malamar, you can pick up the shiny Malamar, or the non-shiny one for a quarter, and then the shiny version from Hidden Fates for $10. And in my opinion, Malamar Giratina is so strong right now that it's preventing a lot of the Cosmic Clip singles from uh, you know, really hitting high prices on the secondary market because you don't really need them yet. And here's Giratina. Uh, Giratina, we've all seen them a dollar uh you know both of these cards were in the battle arena box too which would only drive the prices down further so I, because these guys are so strong in the meta and so with those two cards being so cheap let's see uh again this is my assumption and is that this is what is impacting cosmic eclipse singles and why the prices are so low and now let's just take a look we'll order from highest to lowest uh charizard breaks in rainbow at the top not a big surprise there I wonder if this is the Charizard effect more than anything else. Not that the card is bad, but I just don't think it stands that well against Giratina Malamar. Uh, the deck is just super easy to build and it's just so strong right now. Second, we have Reshiram Zekrom, Rainbow Rare. That alternate art looks amazing and it's under $30. And then we have some of the supporters after that. So, you know, I feel like compared to all previous sets where like the, the top pull uh, for them to be this low, and these are like the max rarity, not even like the base rarities, um, really says a lot. Almost to a point, actually, let's just go through it. So then we got the, um, the regular Reshiram Zekrom alternate art. And then we have a lot of the cool um, Trainers, Caitlyn Cynthia is pretty really good. Giant Hearth, obviously, for any kind of fire deck, any kind of welder deck, and then Power Plant. Uh, and then we have the Creation Trio as well. But uh, let's go to eBay to see, because eBay is usually a little bit cheaper, to see how cheap these things are going for. All right, we got Venusaur, Snivy, two of them, one of the base art and the max rarity for 22. Blastoise Piplup, oh my gosh, I really want this card. You can pick it up for $20. Uh, the trio for 21 these are all sold list things too obviously the charizard is the highest one but we got that oh my gosh are you still looking for this vile plume um erica and it's going for under ten dollars so low even some of the really cool tech cards like so valley max rarity under 20 and uh so yes yeah, so i feel like this is very interesting and the only guess i have is just because they're just not that there's really cool mechanics and stuff like that but they're just not the strongest right now um, which compared to when other sets kind of released I feel like those were kind of like driving the prices up so one thought that so, does occur to me is let's say there is a change with another set that comes out in the you know coming months the sword and shield you actually pre-purchased on game nerds already um, and maybe there's some new cards out there that basically make tag teams that make GX really relevant again right now I feel like the non GX decks are just so strong uh, but let's say that there's a change in the near future where all right tag teams are back you know they're the most powerful and then what that will kind of do to these prices it, and again they're so low that it's in almost zero percent of the time it works out like this usually the the cards release the price are kind of high and then they go low and then they stay low and occasionally a new mechanic will cause something to spike but uh these being as low as they are it's hard not to think like oh man is it worth to pick up some of these that i kind of want to play just to play around with and then maybe they'll go up later like one that comes to mind is tag call great catcher these cards are so good um and then for them to be as cheap as under 20 dollars is amazing so just something that at least <laughs> it's uh, hard to ignore so yeah it's a very interesting situation um if you have a different opinion on what is causing this hap to happen on the secondary market let me know in the comment down below and then the last thing i want to talk about is a product that we actually opened on the channel but we only opened one of them and i feel like it's actually a very good product for now um and we'll kind of see if this card becomes more relevant and that is the trevenant dust Lord gx tag team so on tcg player uh, it's going for nine dollars over nine dollars shipped and the thing that's interesting is is that you can pick up the sealed product for 20 so you can get that nine dollar card and then i guess the ten dollar gets you that jumbo card which I guess it has some value, but then you got the four packs unified minds uh, steam siege and I can't tell what that last one is I don't know 
Lost Thunder or something like that. But uh, yeah, for four packs for ten dollars, after you kind of like uh, taking the value of the promo, it is quite good. So I think I might pick up a couple of those. And one thing that we kind of announced in the Discord is kind of like a ten, uh, kind of like a side sale that is actually on GameStop. So I'll put a link to this product down below, especially if you're looking to pick up some Funkos. Uh, they currently are doing a promotion for. If you buy three Funkos, you can get one for free, as long as they're all under $12, which basically they all are. So you don't have all these guys. Maybe now might be a good time. One awkward thing is that to get free shipping, you do have to get to that $35 mark. But uh, with that Trevenant GX or that Pale Moon GX box, uh, might make it a little bit easier if you only plan on buying four Funkos. Um, so if you are looking to expand your collection, you're looking for the Pokemon or whatever, uh, chances are it would apply for this. It seems like if you can't get something that isn't released yet, that's the only thing. It doesn't apply to pre-orders. Uh, so the only one I need is the Pikachu one right now. So I'll have to find a couple other ones to fill in to make uh, to get to that uh, three other ones to get that free one. So that's our video for today. A lot of different things, uh, a little bit of news, and some interesting things on the secondary market. If you have any thoughts or opinions, definitely let me know. A lot of these are just my own speculations. Uh, obviously, aren't really backed by act or anything like that. Just my observations from playing PTCGO um, and keeping an eye on things uh, on a daily basis. Uh, if there are particular uh, things you would like us to cover, like we didn't cover anything vintage, but if there's specific um, eras or genres that you want us to hit, let me know in a comment down below and. As always guys, thanks for watching. I really do enjoy doing this series and I feel like there's been some positive feedback in that regard. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.